90 seconds to midnight. The doomsday clock has moved closer to 12. So what does that truly mean? The doomsday clock is a metaphor for how close we are getting to existential crises that threaten human existence. So essentially that's what it means. It doesn't mean that the world is going to end. However, it does mean that the threats that we are concerned about, particularly in the realms of nuclear war, climate change, and emerging technologies, such as biological hazards, that those crises are becoming more and more prevalent and they are much more broad. Russia's attacks on Ukraine and the threat of nuclear war chief among the concerns. As I listen and speak to my colleagues on the board who are experts in nuclear threats, I can tell you that they are extremely concerned, more concerned than I've ever seen them be in the nearly eight years that I have served on this board. Since 2002, Dr. Suzette McKinney has done this type of work in public health and in emergency preparedness. Paired with the attacks on Ukraine, the pandemic is one of the panel's deepest concerns. And what do you think about the COVID-19 response initially and where we are now with it as we enter this fourth year of this pandemic? I would say that the global response to COVID-19 was significantly impacted in large part, again, because we have pockets of countries that just don't have the capability to quickly detect the emergence of these diseases and then upon detection to respond to them appropriately. So doctor, we're at this juncture. What do we do now as a society to roll back the time on the clock, if that's even possible? You know, I believe that it's possible and I cannot thank you enough for the question because that is the exact purpose of the setting of the doomsday clock. So what society can do and members of the general public can do, we urge and encourage you to read the doomsday clock statement. Talk to your leaders, talk to your local leaders, your state level leaders, as well as your federal leaders and policymakers and help them understand what your concerns are. And on the subject of pandemics, how likely do you think we will see another COVID-19 pandemic in our lifetimes? Very likely. In my opinion, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And so the doomsday clock ticks on. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.